Hey everyone, Pinch out here, and I'm here with Mark. Hi. 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 <laughs> and today we are working on SMP's awesome uh, conversion kit here for going from a power steering Corrado to a manual power steering and an old school non ABS brake system. Why are we doing this? Number one, because parts are harder to find. Number two, parts aren't cheap if you do find them. And number three, this is just makes life so much easier and more affordable for everyone. So, as always here at PHL's Garage, we're gonna break, fix, and repeat, and let's get to work. And with Mark. <laughs> So you'll see here, this is SMP's kit, and this is going to give us the the brake booster adapter with the uh, master cylinder adapter. They provided us with the slave cylinder for the clutch, and everything we see here. Um, I ordered a brake booster and a master cylinder. They will be here within about a day or so. So we'll give you guys an update on that when that part comes in. So for right now, we're going to show you guys how to install this part of the kit and then finish up the rest uh, once the other parts come in. Okay, uh, tools needed, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter, a crescent wrench, possibly a 10 millimeter as well. Uh, I haven't gone to the other parts yet, but we'll show you what else you'll need when we get to that point. All right, so I got Mark here. Um, pretty much he's gonna mount the bracket and we're gonna show you, we're gonna, if, if SMP ships you the bracket with uh, this little nut on here, you guys can see that, hold on. There you go. With that nut on top, uh, make sure you take that off because it will prevent the bracket from sitting flush against the firewall and that actually has to sit on there nice and flush. Okay guys? So, go for a mark. Take the thing off. Hmm? Yeah, we wanna take it off. And that's a 13 millimeter as well, okay guys? And then um, you'll see there's one, two, three, and number four holes. Remember where those are located because those are the ones you gotta uh, use your uh, nuts and tighten those down from the inside of the car, not from the outside. Um, okay. So there be, should be four bolts in total or four studs on the bracket in total. So when you mount that guy, it should fit in there nice and snug, all the way flush against the firewall. Same back here. Uh, SMP puts a spacer on the back, right here. So this allows it for the, for perfect, pretty much mounting. Uh, once that's done, you're gonna work your way inside the car. Go for it, Mark. I'll hold this, and you're gonna bolt it in. Now you'll see here that uh, Mark. It's on the inside, I'm trying to get that one nut on there um, from the inside of the car while I'm holding on the bracket here for the Corrado. Now remember Mark, don't put it on really tight, just put it on, that's it. Okay, we'll tighten them everything down after we get all the bolts on, okay? Okay. You got one of the nuts on already? Yeah. Alright, nice. So, same thing from over here, you'll see there's three bolts, one, and then where's number two, uh, two, oh, and then number three down below. Alright, so I got Mark <laughs> working on the, uh, the, the master cylinder for the clutch, and we're going to show you guys how to install that. It's probably the easiest thing you're going to do. So. Once you got the bracket nicely mounted and uh, tightened down, 
There's these two studs that stick out of the uh, bracket on the right. The master cylinder goes right side up. Go for it. Just like that. And then they provide you with a nu uh, nut and washer. So a nut and washer on each side, they're 10 millimeters. What you want to do is tighten that one down first. Okay, push that one down first, tighten it down. So it'll give you more thread on this side. Sorry if I don't have the car. Okay, don't make it too tight, just make it nice and snug. And do the same thing on the right. They're not going on? No. Hold on. Yeah, that's okay. Hold on, no, no, no. Hold on. So the little hiccup we had is that the stud that was over here on this side, we had it uh, threaded in, so the stud was too far in. You gotta thread it, reverse thread it out, and it should lock, and then you can put your nuts on and get that taken care of. And get that on nice and snug. And not hit the car. And then we're going to work on the inside to get that actually that that master cylinder hooked up to the actual clutch pedal. And then we're going to thread in the actual here um, the clutch right here. There's a little, little port here for the clutch uh, cable, uh, not cable, but the clutch hose, uh, the steel braided hose that go in here, and then you route it out. So you guys can see here. Here's the uh, slave cylinder, the clutch slave. The steel line, follow it over, and there's that 90 degree portion that, that SMP provides that goes into the master. That is pretty much how you're going to route your um, your hydraulic system for your O2J transmission that we're going to be mounting right here with the 1.8 T engine. Um, so we're going to show you on the inside how to actually get this guy um, properly mounted and fixated. The cool thing is that the clutch cable actually has a little pin that it goes into, so it's really straightforward. Okay, so this is going to be harder to sh show you, but uh, let's see. So on the clutch pedal right here, you're going to come up, you're going to put, I know this is hard to see guys, it's pretty dark in here. so. I'm doing the best I can, but there's a hole, there's a pin that comes on the clutch pedal and that, and there's this little metal uh, bracket that you need to slide on to lock it in place. Uh, this is actually what the bracket looks like. This one's all bent, but you'll notice there's a, I'll show you guys right here, right there, you see this little bracket right here, it's where that slides on and it clips in place. This is the one from the brake booster, so I got to get another uh, bracket to fix that. Um, but that's all you need. Uh, on the actual clutch, you'll see this little metal pin sticking out of it. Come on. There you go. You see that? This little metal pin, and that thing slides right over it just like that. Pretty straightforward. Um, so you guys are going to need to need those two pieces to make sure. So if you guys took apart your Corrado and you salvaged all your parts this will be very very easy to do all right that's it for right now um for smps pretty much uh power power steering to go to non-power steering and to go to non-abs brake system uh we got more stuff coming we actually have a smps um drive-by wire kit coming uh for this car as well so we're going to convert convert this uh, manual uh, cable into an electronic uh, gas pedal 
So that's coming soon as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but thank you for this quick and short, sweet DIY. We got a lot more coming on this Corrado. So again, thanks for tuning in on Pinchao's Garage with Mark. <laughs> Stop being so serious. And thank you. So as always, we're going to break, fix, and repeat. Peace out, everyone.